Hello Budgie Nation! Cookie was my first budgie. I learned everything about keeping budgies thanks to Cookie. And Cookie is the main reason why I started Budgie YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you what we learned from Cookie, like what is perfect cage size for budgies. Choose a cage that is the right size for your budgie and position it in a location free from hazards. You definitely don't want your budgie to be cramped in a cage that is too small. Choose a cage that is at least twice as tall and twice as wide as the wingspan of your bird. Get the most spacious cage possible that will fit well into your home. Budgies need both vertical height and width for hopping and flying. The minimum size for a single budgie would be 18 by 18 by 18 inches or 46 by 46 by 46 centimeters. Please consider carefully the size you get as it will determine how active your budgie can be and this will affect the health and happiness of your bird. Don't go with the first cage you see at the pet store. Firstly, establish which cages are designed for budgies. There are some good-looking cages for larger birds or for rodents which may or may not be safe for your bird. So start with the ones that are specifically for budgies and go from there. Do not buy a circular cage as a budgie cannot stretch its wings and fly properly in one. The bird will also feel insecure and scared as it has no corners to hide in. Your budgie's cage needs to be large enough that your little guy can spread his wings out completely without hitting the sides of the cage, toys, or perches. Back then, I had only one budgie. That was Cookie. I didn't know they are a flock of birds. A budgie without a flock is an incomplete, lonely budgie. A pair of budgies will, generally, be happier than a single budgie. Single budgies can and do become extraordinary pets. Give time, and he will tame himself and come to you, because budgies are driven instinctually to seek out others to form social relationships with other living beings. In this case, you will become your budgie's flock. They are very social little ones and need more than an hour or two of attention to really be happy. Many budgies that really have needed more company than they have will become obsessed with different toys and objects in their cage constantly contact calling or other behavioral problems. Getting two budgies or adding another bird is a smart move if you are at work all day or away a lot and cannot interact with your budgie as much as you used to. A fulfilled budgie is what you naturally want. What I learned from Cookie that mirrors are really bad for budgies. If you only keep a single bird, a mirror can be a useful social backup when there's pressure on your budgie quality time. However, it's a big however, it is always best to keep more than one bird, whether a mirror is involved or not. Nothing can entirely replace a flesh and blood companion bird. With just a single bird in a cage, the bird in the mirror becomes the chief companion. Your pet budgie will talk to it, click beaks with it, attack it when he's angry, and sometimes attempt to feed it with regurgitated seed. If his head feathers are raised, when he taps the mirror with his beak, he is flirting. But if you feel he is spending an inordinate amount of time attacking his own reflection, you should take it as an enormous hint to get a second bird. His unusually high levels of aggression are probably fueled by frustration and the need for more socializing. If the male bird of a mating pair is constantly agitated by the handsome, silent rival in the mirror, he's spending more time fighting the reflection of himself than courting his partner, remove it. Three's a crowd. A budgie who begins regurgitating seed to his reflection in the mirror is well advanced in the Bergirigar mating ritual. He thinks the reflection is his mate and he's trying to feed her. 
If this happens once or twice, but doesn't reoccur, it's nothing to worry about. Cereal feeding, though, indicates that the bird is in need of some proper budgie company. If your budgie gets into the habit of throwing up his seed for the benefit of a friend in the mirror, it's best to remove the mirror from the cage. What is most important for daily budgie's diet is veggies and fruits. Know the basics of bird food. Be aware that these techniques work best with a friendly, hand-tamed bird who thinks you're a good role model, not some terrible birdie-eating monster. The see it's not poison approach. Eat fruits and veggies in front of the bird. Show it how tasty the stuff is, even if it isn't. Keep doing this until the bird looks curious, if not green with envy. The green paper approach. Stick leafy veggies like romaine lettuce in the cage bars, or stand some on the cage if your bird likes to chew holes in paper, then it might just mistake it for green paper. By the way, romaine lettuce is, I believe, seven times more nutritious than iceberg and seems to be preferred by birds. The finger food technique. Offer bits of veggies in your fingers, or if you can do it without getting yucky human saliva on it, have one end of the food in your mouth and the other by your bird's beak, thereby proving to your paranoid bird that it's not poisonous. The plaything approach. Make veggies look interesting. Maybe use a knife to make a thick piece thin enough for a small beak. A big chunk of carrot would be the equivalent of giving a child a beach ball sized carrot and expecting culinary enjoyment and give it interesting projections and things that could tempt a birdie to nibble on it, and generally treat it like a toy. Maybe some of it will wind up in the bird. Tempt with toys. While most of the techniques work best with tame birds, this is something that can be done with untamed budgies. Very tightly tie small bundles of dried grass together and dangle them in their cage. After a few days of comical fear and avoidance, the budgies learn to chew and rip apart the grass. The boring approach. You can do the standard way of adding veggies to the bird's food bowl diligently for weeks on end, too. But try the other methods as well. They're more fun and probably more productive. What is really important for Budgie's mental health is toys. Try different types of toys and find the ones your Budgie responds to the most. The one he engages in the most is the one he loves the most. You will soon get to know their taste and can then make toy purchasing decisions accordingly. In the market, you will be able to find four types of Budgie toys categorized as per their functionality, namely, Climbing, swinging, chewing, and exploring. Some toys can satisfy only the swinging function or any other single function, but there are many toys that are multifunctional and will involve a combination of these main functionality types. You can use these types of toys for budgie entertainment as per their age and brain development. Once they are fully grown, use the ones with which they interact the most. Budgie climbing toys available in the market include any material to which the bird can climb on and have fun with. Check out the material of the toys for budgie safety and the paints used over them. Wood and plastic are considered safe for use in toy making, and the color paints used must be non-toxic. Swinging toys are the ones suspended in the air for budgies to swing and play with. A simple rope would do justice with the swinging needs of a budgie, but before they get bored with it, introduce budgie toys that can be hooked onto the top bars of their cage. 
There are some complex toys involving hoops and bells for budgies to get involved with. But if you have limited time to spend with your little one, don't forget to spoil them with these complex toys. Chewing toys are essential for all budgie pets as they feel the urge to chew quite often. A mineral block, cuttlefish bone, or an untreated piece of wood will be a great choice for budgie's chewing needs. Fly high, Cookie! And thank you all for watching. If you want more budgie videos, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And see you in next video. Watch next, previous video, or how to tell if your pet likes you. Visit our official webpage for more information and budgie care.